Hey, what's going on everyone? I want to thank every single person who supports my channel. It really means the world to me. Now, if you want to support my channel even further, check out my online website. We have some amazing designs. We have some hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, and water bottles. Right now we have 15% off. So definitely check it out. Link will be in the description. And thank you so much, guys. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Prime Growth Investment. This is your boy Ali and I'm back again with another video. And today's video will be only for entertainment. This is not a financial advice. So if you're planning on investing, please take your time, do your own research and invest at your own risk. With that being said, let's get started. Today's video, we're gonna talk about Coinbase. We're gonna talk about how do they generate their revenue and why is it going down? And another thing we're gonna talk about uh, what do you expect from this company in the near future? So right now Coinbase is at the price of $231. But if we take a look at uh, their IPO, they I first IPO uh, on April, April this year, and it did go up. It did go up to $342. But as you can see, since then, it's just been plummeting. It's just been going down and down and down. Now it's been stable around, you know, 200 for the past, uh, for the past one month. And this is something you want to understand. Why is this happening? Why is this happening to Coinbase as an investor? Now let's take a look at Coinbase. So Coinbase is the market cap is $48 billion right now. And the lowest uh, since its IBO, it's been go oh, it went to $208. This is the lowest uh, price for their stock. So this is something you want to consider between the price right now and what is the lowest throughout uh, since its IPO. Now let's take a look at this article because it does explain what Coinbase is all about very, very well. Now is Coinbase a stock that you should buy now? Now Coinbase is the largest cryptocurrency exchange platform within the United States. It offers Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, along with 50 digital currencies to be accepted by this platform platform so you can buy and sell you can transfer and do every single thing on this platform now you want to understand that coinbase is correlated with bitcoin and i will explain to you right now what do i mean by that so bitcoin has been going down and we can see a correlation along with Coinbase. When Bitcoin goes down, Coinbase goes down as well. And the reason why, because Coinbase, uh, what they do is they collect fees for trading and depositing funds. So whenever, this is their primary source of revenue for this company. So whenever uh, peop, there's not much volume going on, Whenever you take a look at Bitcoin and you look at it, there's not much trading, there's not much volume going on throughout you know, the past uh, month or so, Coinbase will not be collecting fees for the trading because there's not much trading going on on their platform. So the price is just gonna go down. But whenever you see people are so bullish on Bitcoin, so bullish on Ethereum and so many other uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, they're going to be trading a lot. There are going to be a lot of trading going on, and therefore Coinbase price will go up. So there is a correlation between cryptocurrencies and Coinbase. If people trade so much on cryptocurrencies, uh, Coinbase will go up because they will be generating revenue. If there is not much going on in the cryptocurrency world, well, guess what? Coinbase is going to go down. And you can see right here, approximately 90% of the company's revenue was just transaction fees. And that is a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen. Think of it, they're only collecting fees, yet they are making tons of money as of right now. Imagine if the world uh, 
understand more and more what cryptocurrency is and imagine if cryptocurrency becomes more acceptable and coinbase becomes the leader uh, platform for uh, cryptocurrency Crypt, uh, coinbase will be just insane so right here they again explain to you that uh, uh, the company stock was uh, first ipo'd at the price of uh, 250 dollars but as you can see, the price of Coinbase is below the $250, the first price of their IPO. Um, now, another thing you wanted to understand uh, is the company also took a major nosedive after they announced plans to sell bonds to raise $1.3 billion in capital. So they wanted to increase their capital and of course, Whenever a company decides to do that, uh, there is going to be investors panic sell. And this is because they think that shares are going to be diluted uh, because the capital will increase. Think of it as this. When a capital increase and you have, you have more uh, shares going on, just, the shares are just going to be diluted. People are going to panic sell and eventually the price of the stock, the company stock will just go down. And this is not something you wanna worry about in the long term uh, because eventually it will recover, but this is something to worry about if you are a short-term trader or a swing trader or whatever trader you are. But if you're a long-term investor who's planning on investing for a year or two or three or even more, this is not something you wanna worry about. Another thing you want to uh, consider, um, the company, uh, it went public via direct listing. So what that means is they did not need help to go public. Generally, you will see a company going public along with the help of other companies uh, where they will, like, like, think of a SPAC. A SPAC is a special acquisition company where they uh, pretty much uh, generate money uh, through funds in order to help a company go public. Now, Coinbase did not need all of that. They did not need help from anybody. They were a self-sufficient and did not require any additional funds to sustain itself. And this is good because that means that the company is stable. The company is literally generating revenues. They are stable and they don't pretty much need help to stay stable. And that's really, really good. Now the company yet is bearish. There is, there is a lot of bearish, um, bearishness going on in the cryptocurrency market right now. Hence why Bitcoin is going down. But if we take a look at it in the long term, we might see some bullish movement eventually. When will that happen? We don't know. No one knows because cryptocurrency is unpredictable. It's very, very hard to predict and it's a very, very risky market. This is why so many investors out there, they have tons of money, but they are too afraid to invest in cryptocurrency because it's so risky. So let's talk about Bitcoin and why is it falling? Now in China, they made it so difficult for businesses to provide cryptocurrency related services. So right now in China, it is very, very difficult for any customer to be using their cryptocurrency if they have any cryptocurrency in their wallet. And this obviously, you know, prevented Bitcoin from becoming a reliable coin. And another thing you want to consider is what Elon Musk has been doing. So Elon Musk has been trying his best to push Dogecoin as a uh, as a, a real uh, cryptocurrency and uh, he also declared due to environmental consideration Tesla will not be accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for its electric automobiles and you have so many people who are you know big investors when it comes to Tesla and big fans of Elon Musk so when they saw that they eventually uh, sold their uh, their shares in um, 
just like what Elon Musk did. So you have so many fans of uh, Musk who ended up selling their uh, Bitcoin. And on top of it, Tesla had invested $1.5 billion in cryptocurrency, which it was Bitcoin, and they sold most of it. So you, you can see there's been a lot of selling off in Bitcoin, but me personally, I do believe that uh, cryptocurrency will recover eventually. Another thing we want to consider is Kathy Wood. For those of you that don't know who Kathy Wood is, she is the CEO of ARK Invest. She is very, very successful when it comes to ETFs. She has the innovation fund, which uh, went up 45% uh, per year over the last five years. And that is very, very well. In fact, there is so many people who follow Kathy Wood patron. And what I mean is they follow each step Kathy Wood does. So if she is buying or selling a stock, they will exactly follow that patron because Kathy Wood is very, very successful and she is well aware of what's going on in the market and she is always ahead of the game. Now, her ARK Invest is fully capitalizing Coinbase stock. Uh, when the price goes down, they are increasing their uh, shares amount. So as of right now, they have more than 624 million shares. And this is 3% of the company's holding, uh, which is the ARK Invest uh, company's holding. And they are, uh, they are nearly 10% of Coinbase total shareholding, which is really a lot. Now, let's go to the big question. Should I buy Coinbase? Now, as of right now, more people are accepting cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is becoming more accepted. Uh, there's more positive uh, uh, view when it comes to cryptocurrency, which is really, really good. And this is because people are a lot more aware of what cryptocurrency is right now. So they are accepting it. When you understand something, you will accept it for what it is. So when you accept things, when people understand what cryptocurrency is, people are going to be more, um, they're going to more be acceptable when it, toward trading. They, they want to make money. People want to make their money. So they are going to go ahead and they're, uh, they're going to use the cryptocurrency trading. And Coinbase will be their platform. Coinbase is the most popular and largest uh, platform in the United States. So I can see in the future, once people accept cryptocurrency for what it is right now, and once it becomes more popular, more, more bullish people, uh, they're going to be uh, generating a lot of revenue in Coinbase. Now, think of this. Most people think Bitcoin will eventually um, recover. Now, if Bitcoin uh, recovers, remember, there's going to be a lot of volume uh, in trading. So the company Coinbase will recover eventually as well. So think of it as this. If the cryptocurrency is doing really, really well, Coinbase will be doing really, really well. So there is a correlation, a big, big, big correlation between Coinbase and cryptocurrency. So if you're right now, if you're buying the dip in Bitcoin, you know, I, I it's, like I mentioned, there's a, going to be a correlation between Coinbase and uh, uh, Bitcoin. So I don't see a reason why you are not buying a Coinbase as well, because at the end of the day, there's going there's going to be an increase in volume in trading in the cryptocurrency, which will increase the price of uh, Coinbase. Um, now, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what Coinbase is all about. And I hope you guys learned something about this company. If you did, please leave me a like, leave a comment, and let me know what should I talk about in my next video. Peace out.